Hi guys, this is Cora Sornova from SK Dance Work, and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on this amazing hairstyle. This hairstyle is great if you have to dance Latin and Standard on the same night, like I have to do tonight. So, it's really good for 10 dancers, it's great for Standard, it's great for Latin, it, uh, it's a style that goes all around, so it's, it's really perfect for that. This hairstyle, uh, one of my followers sent me a picture and said, can you do a tutorial on this hairstyle? And I said, of course I can. So, here it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through it step by step. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do the, the shape in the front and the shape in the back as well. Thank you so much and we will get started. So I'm starting out with a fine tooth comb like this. So you can see that the, the teeth of the comb are really small and then there's a pick on the other end. This is really important because we're actually gonna use both sides of that. Um, I also have two hair clips like this, which is really good because we're gonna make sure that we use this to keep the hair in place. Um, hair band as I've got here, I've got another one actually already in my hair. Brush, just to brush it out, but we're not gonna use it very much. We have hair pins. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see all my different hair pins. You see that? Okay, so lots of different types of hair pins right there. We have my hair crimper, very, very important. Hair dryer right here. My favorite hairspray, the best hairspray out there. You can spray your hair straight up with this stuff, it's amazing. We are going to be putting some rhinestones in my hair tonight, so I've got these rhinestones with some Elmer School glue to use with that. I have a fresh hairnet to make sure that there's no holes in the hairnet. And lastly, my wrap. And I'll be showing you exactly how I put this into my hair to uh, give my bun the correct shape. So, we are going to get started. All right, so the first step in this, I have my hair down, and now my hair is freshly washed from yesterday. Um, I want to make sure that my hair is not washed the morning of, if, if we can avoid it. Sometimes when you're competing many days in a row, there's nothing you can do about it, but definitely if you can uh, try not to wash your hair the exact morning of, that's the best. Um, mine was washed last night, so it's not absolutely freshly clean. Even better if you don't have really greasy hair is uh, if you can wash it, let's say today is Saturday, if you wash it Friday morning, then it has a chance to get a little bit dirty. Um, but because I usually compete so many days in a row, that's just not an option for me. So, my hair is down and washed, I'm gonna brush it out, and then I'm going to part it on the side. Okay, so my hair is nicely parted now. I'm gonna give it a little spritz with the hairspray just to make sure that it stays. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to part from the back here in a diagonal direction like this so that I can pull aside the hair that I'm gonna use for the design in the front. So, I'm gonna start from the very back corner of this part here. So this very back corner right here, and I'm going to part it diagonally forward towards my temple. So I'm just gonna use the edge of the comb to grab the hair. See, that's my part there to there. I'm gonna do again a little spritz just to keep the hair separated because I don't want my hair to get mixed up. Then I'm gonna use one of my hair clips to just twist it up and put it aside because I want to get it out of the way while I do the next piece. Ta-da! So this is the hair that I'm gonna to use to do the, the detail in the front. I'm gonna ignore that for the moment. The next uh, part to this is to use the hairspray to pull it into a ponytail that's on the base of my neck. 
So if you watch my last tutorial, which you will definitely find um, a direct link to in the uh, at the end of this video, uh, you'll know that I make sure that I, I concentrate all of the hairspray at the base of my hair. So I'm spraying right against the roots right up there, not worrying about spraying the rest of this hair because I need that for later. So what I do, let me brush out a little knot there. So what I do is I take my hair in sections. So I might run my finger through it like this and hairspray right along the edge because I really want to make sure that my hair goes flat against my skull. Uh, I don't want any bumps or ripples or anything like this in, in the ponytail. I want it to be as smooth as possible as it goes back. So, it's going to, I'll give you a good example. It goes like this. So you see how it parted the hair? Put the hairspray right against the edge. So you see the hair, the hairspray is right against the edge there, and now I'm going to use my comb. And when I comb it back, I want to uh, press the flat part of the comb right up against my, my head so that it flattens it as much as possible. Do you see how flat it's getting as it goes back? If any part of my hair is not wet, if it doesn't feel wet, then I'm going to make sure to um, spray it again. Continuing to take this all the way back. And I'm gonna do the same thing until all of the rest of this free hair is in a ponytail. Okay, so uh, I have it back into a ponytail that is right on the base of my skull. Now a really good tip for blondes. So the problem with blonde hair is that hairspray tends to darken it. I mean hairspray darkens your hair no matter what color you have, but with blonde, it can darken it to a completely different shade. This is really difficult to deal with. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, using a handheld mirror, I'm going to try to um, make sure that I've done enough hairspray equally on all parts of the hair so that it looks as even as possible. Um, I'm also going to take my hair dryer and spray my hair and then blow dry it so that it gets really, really solid and tight against my head. So now that my hair is um, pretty solid and pulled back tightly, I'm going to take out my hair band and then re-put uh, it back into my hair so that the ponytail is even tighter. So now my hair is in a really nice tight ponytail. Uh, everything is smooth and back and into place. And as you can see, beautiful ponytail right at the base of my skull. I'm gonna leave that ponytail for now. I'll come back to it later. Now I'm gonna focus on this section. So, I have to start by combing it out and then crimping it. By crimping it, I'm going to uh, give it a little bit more body and I'll be able to actually <laughs> I'll be able to actually work the hair into the shape that I want to, I want to give it. So 
My crimper has been sitting on the side and warming up. The whole time I've been getting my hair ready. All right, so now as you can see, my hair is nicely crimped and uh, poofy and gorgeous on the side here. Now, the hardest part about this hairstyle is gonna be to get that little loop that she has on her forehead. So I'm gonna start with that. So, we're gonna part the hair into three pieces. So, this is gonna be the first, that will be the second, and this will be the third, but I'm not gonna worry about the second quite yet. It's a straight part because it just makes it easier to deal with. And this, I again am going to pin off to the side, it just slips out of the way. So, the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a little bit of height for this one here. So, you can see that just by putting my finger in it, just because the crimpy, it already gives it a bit of height. So, I'm going to take the hairspray, I'm going to spray it at the base a little bit, and then I'm going to use my comb to give it the height that I'm looking for, right there, and I'm going to use a clip to clip it into place so that it can actually dry with the shape that I'm looking for. I'm just using my fingers to work it into the shape that I want it to have. Just experimenting before I add any hairspray to see what I need to do to get it into the shape that I'm looking for. Actually, that looks, that looks pretty good right there. So I'll use a pin to grab the hair and pin that into place like so. Really know how the hair is going to react when you start to work with it so the best thing is just to keep keep trying keep fashioning it into the shape that you want eventually you will get there
Now, before I go on to any other part, I wanna make sure that I freeze this into place because I'm pretty happy with the way that this is looking now. Got my nice little twirl right there, and I'm not going to worry about this until I get to the next piece of hair because I don't want to fashion um, this section of it un until the next piece is done. So now I'm going to do the next loop. So in the picture, it looks like the next layer of hair kind of blends into this one. So again, we're gonna start this one the same way. This one I want it to stick up even more. I'm trying to create a really clear um, definition between all three layers. So what I'm gonna do with this loop is again, I'm gonna start by spraying the base on both sides, making sure that it keeps its shape to itself and blow drying it. So, you see, now I've got my second layer, and I've kind of placed it really, really nice over the first. The idea is I want it to look like it's blending into it. And I'm just gonna leave this here for a moment, because I'm gonna come back to this later when I do my next layer. But, before I do the next layer, I'm gonna make sure that I spray it down into place. So, leaving this alone, spraying this down. All right, so now I'm going to work with this final piece. And again, this final piece is literally, I'm going to do the exact same process for making sure that it stays nice and thin at the base and it gets this definition that we're looking for in here. But I'm gonna do something different. This one, we are not gonna connect into the loop. This one, we're gonna kind of take over the top and blend all of this hair into this piece right here. So it's gonna go something more like, like this to take it off to the side. So that's the very next piece. Did I not tell you that this hairspray is amazing? Check that out. If I took the hairspray all the way up through this, I could literally make that stick up straight in the air. It's amazing. Once more, got to be glued. This is the hairspray you gotta use. It doesn't matter what your hair texture is like, it will keep it under control. Mm -hmm.
Now I pinned it down here for a moment because I want to make sure that on the back of this one it doesn't stick up too much. I actually want it to be kind of diagonally up from the back corner of the hair to the front. The I think the worst look of this one is when the back doesn't blend nicely into place because remember that I'm going to be dancing three styles with this hairstyle tonight. So I'm going to be using this hairstyle to dance a show dance. It's Latin so I'll just consider that Latin a Latin competition, in which case the front is fine, I can make the front look good, but also a standard competition. And in standard competition, you want the back of your hair and the top of your hair to look amazing because that's the angle that most people see it from. So I want to really make sure that it looks good from the back as well, not just only from the front. So I'm going to be blending the back part in with the rest of it. So I'm, I'm not really even combing it, I'm just smoothing the hair down so that I can actually spray it into place so that when you do see it from the back it's going to be a smooth transition up to the front. And I'm going to worry about this definition in the front in just a little bit but first I want to spray that down because now I've got it looking really nice and smooth. So now it's really nice and smooth. So if you take a look at my hair from the back and up, it's a smooth transition from the back to the front. So next, I'm going to work on making this definition look better and then smoothing this part into the hair. So remember, the trick to ballroom hair is doing it one little step at a time. Now this bottom part here, I before I take the clip out, I'm just going to pin it in a couple places in place. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to leave the pins in there. I might decide to take them out later, but uh, I want to make sure that they stay in there while I work the hair back into the ponytail because I don't want the, um, the shape of the hair to be ruined because I'm really happy with the shape right now. Now, as you can see, it's got this really nice little loop to it, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm gonna keep that there. And again, just pin it into place for the moment, and I will probably take, I don't like where that pin went. I'll probably take the pin out later, once I've solidified it with the hairspray. But for the moment, I really like it, so I wanna make sure it doesn't move anywhere. Now, the rest of this hair here, I'm gonna twist this hair all the way to the base. All right, now before I do the bun, there's one little piece about this hair that I'm not happy with. And if you look really closely, you see right under there the circle. Okay, call me a perfectionist, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna clean it up. Ah, do you see how much cleaner that is now? Much better, I'm so much happier with that. Okay, this is looking good. There's a little bit of things I still wanna clean up on it, but for now I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna work my way to the bun in the back. Now, I did not get a very clear picture of Svetlana's hair, the back of her hair, but I did see sort of an unclear picture of the back and from what I could glean from the side, I'm willing to bet based on how she normally does her hair that the bun was a half moon shape. Um, so I'm going to be doing a half moon shape bun for this hair style as well. I just think it will be a really nice culmination of this hairstyle. So, so far the front is looking really good. I'm really, really happy with it. 
and I'm going to spray this down and then we'll get started on the, uh, on the back of the hair. Okay, so for the bun in the back, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section of my hair and set it aside for some special purpose. Yeah, so I'm going to take that section of the hair, just this much, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hairspray it and so I can sh I'll turn around so I can show you. I'm going to wrap this hair around the base of my ponytail so that the hairband is hidden. So, as you can see, I'm hairspraying it and then I'm going to take a comb and I'm going to comb through it to make it as smooth as possible. Now when you're doing the hair in the back, a lot of it is based on feel. It's got to feel correct. So, I'm going to make sure that I have my pin ready and I'm just going to smooth the hair over the top, wrap it underneath, spray and do it again. Okay, I want to take my handheld mirror, just double check it really quickly to make sure it's really nice and secure. Looking pretty good back there. And as you know, the next side to this is to freeze it with hairspray and the hair dryer. Okay, now that that's in place, the next step to this is inserting the rat. Now before I insert the rat, I'm going to just quickly back brush my hair a little bit because I want to make sure, and actually, uh, just one word, I have massively straight hair. There's nothing I can do about it. It stays really, really straight. If I curl it, it goes flat in an evening. It's crazy how straight my hair is. If I take a shower and then let it air dry, it's like pin straight. So what I want to make sure, I mean, sometimes it's nice, sometimes not so nice. So what I want to make sure is that the hair has a little bit of a body in the back so that you can actually cover up the rat. So now that my hair has got a little bit of body, I'm going to take all of this, the whole mass, and kind of very gently so you don't ruin the picture that you already did, clip it on the top. And now I'm gonna install the wrap. The way I install the wrap. For this, I wanna use a little bit bigger pins because the wrap needs to be really secure. Four pins is good. Okay, so I wanna install the wrap in this shape. You see that right there? So I'm putting it in this shape right here. So I'm gonna take a pin and pin it right at the top there and make sure that the pin goes into the base of the ponytail. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So now the two pins are going to the base. I'm going to insert two more pins right up there again because like I said I want to make sure it's really secure. But the next thing is taking the hair down. So you see the hair is going to go down like this. Now we want to kind of spread the hair out like so. And this is going to require lots of guess and check, pinning, unpinning, checking it in the handheld mirror, going back and forth again. So it's going to take me a little while, but I'm going to film the entire thing for you so that you can see exactly how I work this process.
as you can see, it's slowly coming into place. The only thing I need to do is figure out what to do with the hair at the bottom now. Back and forth underneath the bottom of the bun. Because when I put the hairnet on that and then I put the hairspray in it, I'm going to flatten the bun down so that you don't even see the hair underneath. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I put the hairnet in is I want to again solidify my bun. So I'm going to spray my best friend, the hairspray bottle. Okay, now I'm going to put in the hairnet. All right, so for this particular bun, the technique of putting in your hairnet needs to be really specific. If you pull down on the hairnet, it's going to flatten the top of your, your half moon and you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is, once I completely spread out my hairnet like this, I'm going to take a couple of skinny pins and I'm going to pin the, the seam of the hairnet right up here against the base of the ponytail to make sure that the hairnet stays tight on that part there. So that's where I'm gonna start. Okay, so now I'm going to take the edge of it and just kind of wrap that seam right around the edge there and the same on this side. Now I'm going to choose whichever was the messier side, I think it was this side. The left side was a little bit more messy. That's the side I'm going to pull it away from first. I'm going to make sure that the seam gets all the hair in there. Pull the hairnet out. Make one twist. And pull it straight across. For this hairstyle, I'm only going to do it twice. The bun's pretty big and I don't want to make the bun any smaller. Double check to make sure the seam made it all the way across. Both sides, yes it did. 
Great. So now, I'm just going to pin that hair, hair net into place. Alright you guys, this is the full tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Simeon will be back a little bit later to help me with the rhinestones and to help clean up all the parts that I can't get with only two hands. There's so many times where I wish I had more than two hands to, to work with. But anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe. You can subscribe by hitting the uh, the the subscribe button right down there. You can also hit the bell button to subscribe and ask for notifications whenever I post these, these new tutorials. Um, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Visit our website, www.skdanceport.com. And other than that, I'll see you guys on the dance floor. Bye.